To be a mother is to suffer, to travail in the dark, stretched and torn, exposed in half-naked humiliation, subjected to indignities for the sake of new life. To be a mother is to say, this is my body broken for you, and in the next instance, in response to the created's primal hunger, this is my body, take and eat. To be a mother is to self-empty, to neither slumber nor sleep. So attuned you are to the cries in the night, offering the comfort of yourself and assurances of, I'm here. To be a mother is to be vulnerable, to be misunderstood, railed against, blamed for the heartaches of the bewildered children who don't know where else to cast the angst they feel over their own existence. To be a mother is to be accused of sentimentality one moment and injustice in the next. To be the receiver of endless demands, absorber of perpetual complaints, reckoner of bottomless needs. To be a mother is to be an artist, a keeper of memories past, weaver of stories untold, visionary of lives looming ahead. To be a mother is to be the first voice listened to and the first disregarded, to be a mender of broken creations and comforter of the distraught children whose hands wrought them. To be a mother is to be a touchstone and the source, bestower of names, influencer of identities, life giver, life shaper, empath, healer, and original love. Today is Mother's Day. However it's most spiritual for you, let us remember our mothers and mother figures in our lives. Let us also remember those who are without mothers and who long to be mothers, and how we might, with our words and our actions, show the compassion and love of motherhood today.